The debut solo album from the English-born singer-songwriter visual artist Anoni, formerly known as Anthony Hegarty, lead singer of Anthony and the Johnsons, delivers some highly politicised, biting, scathing attacks on the subject of war, the death penalty, politics, humanity depleting the Earth's natural resources and other personal issues Anoni holds close to her heart. What results is a rather beautiful electronic synth-driven album with lyrics that are delivered with a great deal of passion and emotion that results in a captivating album. Nevertheless, there are a few bumps in the road that does spoil some of this album's enjoyment and primarily down to some production decisions. As previously mentioned, this album is laced with some highly politicised topics and opens up with the track Drone Bomb Me. Here, Anoni adopts the identity of a young child in a war-torn country that's under attack from enemy fire and has lost her home and her family in the process and basically doesn't want to live anymore, begging to be blown to pieces and despite her age she feels partly responsible for the reason her home is being attacked. The use of drone bombs reappears later on the song Crisis, where Anoni turns the idea of those who are using drone bombs around and asks the attackers how they would feel if their family were killed as a result of these weapons, including the prospect of torturing siblings in Guantanamo and attacking in their home country under false pretenses. Anoni also brings up the the environment and destruction of the natural world through mankind's selfishness and disregard on the tracks 4 Degrees, Why Did You Separate Me From The Earth and the titular track Hopelessness. The first repeating the line It's Only 4 Degrees and how many wash it away as that particular global temperature increase is merely nothing when in actuality it's a lot more than people realise. The second lambasting mankind's disregard of the planet, its resources and atmosphere through nuclear war and ruining the earth's oceans and aquatic wildlife through dumping thousands of tonnes of garbage and wasting them on a regular basis, Anoni despairing at the truth of the whole matter to the point where she wishes that she wasn't around to behold humanity's lack of empathy for the planet. And the third song shows Anoni letting all of her frustration out on humanity and saying that she gives more of a damn about nature and animals than her fellow human beings, defining them as a virus to the earth. But despite her staunch position, even she herself recognises that she has slipped up along the way and even classifies herself in the same category. The track Marrow also has human green and capitalist influences scattered in the lyrics by comparing the earth to a cancer-stricken woman and her dying out so that corporations can exploit the earth for financial gain and oil, singling out America as being the worst of the worst and how a myriad of other countries have followed suit, becoming Americanized in the process. Other topics involve being under constant watch from Big Brother on the track Watch Me, personally my favourite track on the whole album, highlighting how she cannot go anywhere or do anything anymore without being caught on CCTV, but twists the meaning, turning it into a seductive fashion and how she's always being loved since the cameras are always watching her and always keeping her safe from harm, which is what they're supposed to do. Anoni also brings up America's propensity towards the death penalty on the song Execution, clearly admitting that she's staunchly against the death penalty and throwing a critical analysis of the issue, slamming the method for bringing the end of lives of those who were found to have not been guilty, recognising other countries who have the death penalty still in place, proclaiming the act as the American dream, and highlighting how due to the end of exporting lethal drugs to America, how some states have gone out of their way to find alternatives that haven't been approved, ending the song on the notion that a large portion of the Americans love the death penalty. And finally you have the three tracks that find themselves slap band in the middle of the album and unfortunately it's these three tracks that hinder this album from being a terrific project. Firstly the track I Don't Love You Anymore, which could be seen as Anoni being rejected by someone she held close to her because of her transition and what results is a heartbreak that sees her going through a turbulent time. Next, Next, the song Obama, in which she criticises current American President Barack Obama, some of his most notable failings, and how, as a liberal herself, she feels let down by Obama after so much early promise. And finally, the worst track on the album, Violent Men, arguably one of the most unlistenable tracks I've heard all this year. Although its theme is a desire to wish for the end of violent men, its lyrical quantity is severely lacking, but above all else, its presentation is simply ghastly. And I don't care if its theme is meaningful, that doesn't excuse the awful final product. Instrumentally, the album is rich in synthesizers and electronic drum beats. There aren't many moments that include real instruments, which is a real shame, but for the majority the album produces some really nice sounds. The opening track, Drone Bomb Me, has a rather heavenly opening before introducing some synth horns and synths that provide a decent melody. The horns remain present on 4 degrees with the punchy drum opening and staccato synth strings. Watch Me in particular has a very beautiful aura emanating throughout the track, along with a buzzing undertone in some places, along with the synth combining to create a wonderful wall of sound. Execution is one of the more upbeat and happier soundtracks with a very light continuous beat in the background giving everything a light and ethereal feeling. Crisis with its simple keyboard piece and thudding drum beat and stuttering effects lingering. The subtle
subtle strings and low-key electronic effects giving the song hopelessness a melancholic feeling before injecting a little more energy towards the end of the track. Marrow, again with a subtle buzzing synth, piano keyboard and soft drum beat, and the gospel style organ on I Don't Love You Anymore is pretty standard and uncomplicated before the drum beat injects some urgency into the track. Tag on top the vocals that for the most part are really good and you can definitely tell that Ononi is clearly passionate about what she's singing about. I find this to be a very enjoyable album that's personal on every level and I don't find it coming off as preachy at all, despite the topics this album deals with. I do remain adamant that the songs I Don't Love You Anymore and Obama in comparison to the first four tracks to be rather underwhelming and the entire presentation of the song Violet Men to be incredibly unlistenable and beyond any sort of redemption. Plus I do think some performances could have been a little clearer and it could have been more melodic prominence but in the end this was a very good project and one that I can definitely see myself revisiting later on in the year. Overall I score this album an 81 out of 100.